Now, something I've always believed is that if you love someone, you don't cheat. And if you do want to cheat, then you need to set that person free before you go off and see other people. Sounds simple, right? Unfortunately, a lot of people get this wrong. So if you've always wanted to know why it is that some people break this very simple cardinal rule in my eyes and they go ahead and cheat, then you're in the right place. Keep watching. Hey there, Adam Little here from sexyconfidence.com where I help you create your love story. And in this video right now, we're gonna be talking all about why it is that men cheat. Now to be fair, by the way, a decent amount of women also cheat as well. So let's not put men totally in the doghouse. Still, unfortunately, statistically, more men than women cheat. According to the General Social Survey, 20% of men have cheated while just 13% of women have. And unfortunately, also age matters. The older men get, the more likely they are to cheat. But the question is, why do men feel the need to cheat at any age? Here are 10 excuses that a lot of guys use. Number one, they want to get out of the relationship in the first place. Some guys just aren't good at confrontation and they may be happy in their relationship, but they just don't know how to be able to muster up the courage to have that real conversation about ending it. So instead, they go ahead and sleep with some floozy and end up sabotaging the relationship. And in some cases, they actually want to get caught because the moment they're caught, then they're gonna get dumped and then they are free to be able to have sex with many more floozies. If you've ever felt like you had this happen to you, I wanna hear from you in the comments below. Number two is they don't appreciate what they already have. It's the old grass is always greener on the other side of the fence syndrome. Man sees other women and they think, man, if only I was with her, then I'd finally be happy. And then they end up with her and then they end up looking at her and they think, oh, if I would only have her, I would be better. And then they cheat and then they have her and then they are just going through their life absolutely freaking miserable thinking that everyone else is going to make them happy. And in reality, it's probably because they just hate themselves. So if you're ever with a guy and he overlooks you and he overlooks what they have in front of you, just realize that it's him. It's not you. You need to realize that you are an amazing person. You bring a lot to the relationship and if he's not appreciating you, screw him. Go find someone who does. Number three is that they believe cheating makes them more of a man. I have no idea where this misguided idea comes from and what horrible parenting it comes from, but there are some guys out there who think that cheating is actually like a good thing to brag about. Number four, they do it because they just have low self-esteem. I mean, who doesn't like feeling attractive? When a woman flirts with or shows interest in a man with very low self-esteem, he may feel so good that he just acts on it because finally he's getting that validation that he may no longer get at home. A guy with high self-esteem realizes that you know, he brings a lot to the table. He doesn't need that constant external validation to tell him so. Number five, they're just bored with what they have at home. I see this a lot with couples who've been married or been together for a very long period of time and it's a reality that you know relationships change and things do get certainly stale at times and what's most important is putting in that time and that energy to reignite that spark on a regular basis. I know it's not hard like look me and Jess have lived together for the past two and a half years we've been together for four years like you have to put in effort you have to put in time but it's so worth that effort and it's so worth that time you don't want to get let a relationship get stale. And if a guy uses that lame excuse like, oh, it's just bored at home and we don't have a spark anymore, then you know what? That's on him as well. If he felt that strongly that there wasn't a spark at home that he needed to go ahead and cheat, then you know what? He put his energy in the wrong place. He should have put it back into the relationship to reignite that spark in the relationship, do something interesting, take you somewhere new, take you to a new restaurant, buy you some lingerie, and you know what? You can very quickly go from boredom to like that incredible spark that you first had when you first first met. It just takes a little effort. Number six is they actually believe that they deserve to cheat. In a similar way that you think that you deserve a glass of wine after going to yoga, some men think that they deserve to have their cake and eat it too. In other words, they believe that if they're in a serious relationship that they still deserve to have a side piece. This is just up. Number seven is they're just narcissistic. Unfortunately, narcissists can be incredibly charming people. They can really draw you in. But the obvious downside of a narcissist is that they are always out for number one. They tend to believe that they're superior to everyone and that the normal rules just don't apply to them, which makes them very prone to cheating. Number eight, he's just not built for monogamy. Now, I'm the first to admit that monogamy is not like the natural order of things. Think about it. Cavemen and cave women would go ahead and spread their seeds 
need wide and far to populate the world. There was no like couple for life concept back then. But as we humans evolved and have become more stable with reliable food sources and shelter, people began to pair up, finding basically that emotional support in having a partner. So while you might assume that everyone wants to find one magical person, the fact is not everyone is cut out for monogamy. Believe it or not, one in five single people have been in an open relationship before. That being said, there is a difference between being in an open relationship and cheating. In the former, both partners are fully aware that the other people may date or have sex with other people. It's totally consensual. Whereas in the latter, he just is going off and doing it, which is, means he's lying and he's going behind your back. Big no-no. Number nine is that they actually think they can get away with it. Let me ask you, if you found a wallet filled with money in the middle of the desert and no one was around, would you take it? For some guys, it's a simple fact that they can cheat and get away with it that compels them to actually go ahead and do it. If there are no consequences, why not? A man who cheats does it because he isn't a man with morals. If you're looking for someone to spend the rest of your life with, you want one who does just the right thing by you, who factors in your feelings when making decisions and really thinks about these before he makes any decisions that are gonna impact both of you. Number 10, which I would argue is one of the worst, the most cynical of them all, is that they actually like the thrill of it. Cheating is illicit. It's like that forbidden fruit that you can't have that you finally have. In some people, actually get off at that. I don't personally get that. That seems like a whole lot of stress that would not be very fun. So let me ask you, have you ever been cheated on? I know this is kind of a hard topic to talk about, but this is an amazing community of women who all come together and share your stories below. You can even just give a simple yes or no or be able to share a little bit about your story and what it is that you learned from that experience. Leave that comment below if you've ever experienced that. And also, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like on YouTube and don't forget to subscribe on YouTube. And finally, if you want more videos and articles that are gonna help you through every single stage of dating, relationships, and finding love, head on over to sexyconfidence.com where you can click that link right over there to be able to uh, join the Sexy Confidence Club membership where you can get a whole library of videos that are going to help you through this entire process. Thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you, you sexy single lady, next week. Bye-bye.